Welcome back to my channel tech for you Today in this classroom, we will completely understand what is a flash IC, how it works and what are the applications of a flash IC. In the first session, I am explaining the introduction of a flash IC. If you are working in a service center or a digital headed industry, definitely came in touch with the term flash. We use the term flash IC, firmware upgrade, software upgrade, all of these terms are flash circuit which is integrated inside the STB or set of box, laptop, LED TV or mobile handset etc. As we all know, there are two types of memories. First one is RAM, that is RAM, and second one is ROM, that is ROM. RAM stands for random access memory, while ROM for read only memory. RAM will lose the data when power off, is known as volatile memory, while ROM is non volatile memory, mean data will remain saved when power off. This is the difference between RAM and ROM. Flash is a read-only memory which data will remain safe when device powered off. This memory is called Flash IC. It having the large number of floating gate transistors inside to store instructions. Memory of this IC like 4 megabytes or 8 megabyte, which is generally having 8 pins or 16 pins configuration. Next, I am explaining you how Flash IC works in a set-top box. When you switch the set-top box, power goes to the central processing unit, that is CPU. Then CPU sends the signal to Flash to load the software. After loading the software, Flash will release in the same instructions like monogram and captions of the service provider which we see on the TV screen. After the display of monogram, the GUI comes to navigate the service through set-top box. Next, I am explaining you the pin configuration of 8-pin flash IC. Pin number 1. The pin number 1 refers chip select. The code language is used CS. The chip select pin always enables and disables device function. When chip select is high, the device is deselected and the impedance of the serial data output pins are very high. When deselected, the device's power consumption will be at standby levels unless an internal arrays, program or write status register cycle is in progress. When chip select is brought low, the device will be deselected. Power consumption will increase to active levels and instructions can be written to and data read from the device. After power up, chip select must transition from high to low before a new instruction will be accepted. Input of the chip select must take the positive supply level at power up and power down. This is the configuration of pin number 1. Next is Pin number 2. Pin number 2 and pin number 5, that is data in and data out. This flash will be communicated with standard SPI, dual SPI, quad SPI, and QPI functions. Standard SPI instructions use the unidirectional data input pin to serially write into instructions addresses or data to the device on the rising edge of the serial clock input pin. Standard SPA also uses the unidirectional data output to read data or status from the device on the falling edge of the clock. A dual or quad SPA and QPI instructions use the bidirectional IO pins to serially write instructions, addresses or data to the device on the rising edge of the clock and read data or status from the device on the falling edge of the clock. Next is pin number 3. 
Pin number three is known as right product. Code name is WP. Right product pin can be used to block the status register from being written. Used in conjunction with the status register block protect bits and status register protect bits, a size as small as four kilobyte sector or the entire memory can be protected by its hardware. The right protect pin is active low, however, when the QE bit of status register 2 is set for called I.O., the write protect pin function is not available since this pin is used for I.O. 2. Applications that use non-volatile memory must take into consideration the possibility of noise and other adverse system conditions that may compromise data integrity. To address this concern, the flash provides several means to protect the data from inadvertent writes. Next, I am going to explain what are the features of write protections. Point number one, when supply volt is below threshold, the device goes to resets. Point number two, after power up, time delay write goes to disable. Point number three, write enable or disable instructions and auto write to disable after erasing or programming. Point number four, software and hardware write protection using status register. Point number five, write protection using power down instruction. Point number six, lockdown write protection for status register until the next power up. Point number seven, OTP or one type program write protection for array and security register using status register. Next is pin number four. Pin number four is the common ground of the device. Next is pin number five. Pin number five I have already explained with pin number two. Next is pin number six. Pin number six is a clock pulse. Clock pulse is the SPI serial clock input pin provides the timing of serial input and output functions of the device. Next is pin number 7. Pin number 7 is known as hold that is H-O-L-D hold. This pin allows the device to be fast while it is selected actively. When hold is brought low while CS is low the data output pin will be at high impedance and the signals on the input data and clock pins will be ignored. When hold is brought high, device operation can resume. Hold function can be useful when multiple devices are sharing the same SPI signals. Next is pin number 8. Pin number 8 is the positive VCC. This is the supply volt input of the flash IC. Next, I am explaining you what are the applications of the flash IC. A flash IC is installed in DVBS satellite receivers, digital set-top box, DVBT terrestrial receivers, smartphones, personal computers, laptops, LCD and LED TV, etc. This is the entire explanation of a flash IC. Please subscribe my channel and share the topic to your friends and technical students before scrolling the next. See you with the next technical classroom. Thank you for watching my channel.